Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you might be. Here's a handy tip which involves the embedding of one function within another. In the previous video I showed you how to embed an if function within VLOOKUP. This time we're going to look at the SUM function in conjunction with the ROUND function and we'll see how it works. First of all we'll assume that we have some measurements here. The highest number of decimal points in any particular number in this group is 5, therefore we get 5 um, decimal uh, places after the decimal point. But we decide that we don't need, for whatever reason, 5 decimal points, we only want 2. So what we're going to do is to embed the SUM function this one within a round function. So I'm going to type round, open a bracket, and a, a comma at the end to separate the argument. And I'm going to type the number 2, which will reduce the number, uh, the numbers after the decimal point to 2. So now when I press Control Enter, I'll see that there are now only two decimal points. This can be particularly handy uh, if you're uh, adding uh, measurements in centimetres, uh, metres, whatever it might be, and you only want to get to the nearest two decimal points. If you only wanted one decimal point, then you would change the argument there to 1, and there you would see that you have uh, the requisite number of decimal points. Notice that Excel follows this procedure that it looks at the innermost bracket first. So what it's done there, it has said add up the numbers D4 to D8 D4 to D8 and then round the answer to one decimal point in this case or as I mentioned before if you want two you simply need to use two in the argument and there is how you can embed a sum function within a round function to give you the number of decimal points that you need in the answer. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe unless you've already done so. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now.